In this video I want to show you how to use your Atai 85 microcontroller with an LCD display that is HD4478 compatible. So the circuit that I need you to make is this one. And so the way uh, LCDs displays work is uh, you have eight data lines and you also have an enable and register select line. So those are the uh, main lines that we have to worry about for now. Uh, since our microcontroller only has six pins, we can only make use of four data lines. So we'll be making use of data four through these through uh, data seven lines. So in order to display characters on an LCD display, first you have to select your operation mode, which in our case is four bits. So we're only using four data lines, and you have to set up your LCD display so turn on the display the uh, type of cursor cursor on and also cursor blinking is what we'll be doing type of entry mode and cursor position so when you send a command you pull your RS or register select pin on your LCD display to zero and then you send the uh, particular command since, we're, since like I said we're only using four data lines we first send these four bits and then these four bits the uh, pins D0 through D3 will be connected to ground directly so the only bits that we can control with our ATI 85 are, are the uh, D4 through D7 now to start sending characters we pull our register select line to 1 and then we send the bits for the uh, character that we want to send in this case H and also before you send a command or a character you have to pull your uh, enable pin to 1 and after you're done you have to pull it back down to 0 so this is the circuit once again my potentiometer is just there to be able to change the contrast of the display my four data lines d4 through d7 are connected to pv0 through pv3 my register select line is connected to pv5 which is the reset pin and my enable pin is connected to pv4 so i'm going to be posting links to these websites that uh, show you the uh, how LCD displays work and they also had some code for an Atmega AVR microcontroller so I got the code from this website and modified it so that it works with the Atiny85 so this is the code I made some uh, constants so that our code makes more sense so I enable line it's connected to PV4. My register select line is connected to PV5. Then I have this function called send nibble. This is the value of my reset pin. If I'm sending a command, it will be zero. If I'm sending a character, it will be one. And this is the uh, bits that I want to send. So this is where I make my pins PV0 through uh, PV PV5 outputs so that makes them outputs and then I just start sending the uh, commands for setting up the display and then the uh, characters hello world so like I said initially this is where I set my uh, enable pin to 1 send the data and then disable my enable pin while keeping the uh, data the same The next thing I want to show you is that since we are using the uh, reset pin, which is by default an input, the only way for us to use the reset pin as an output is to disable the uh, reset fuse. Now, one thing you have to know is that once you disable the uh, reset fuse, you will not be able to program your AtTiny85 microcontroller. So remember that uh, if you don't have a uh, high voltage programmer, you will not be able to program your AtTiny85 again. If you have an MK2 ISP, that is not a high voltage programmer, so don't do this if uh, 
if you're planning to use your at tiny 85 again and if you only have a an mk2 isp programmer so of course you want to compile your code and then you want to upload your code to your uh, at tiny 85 microcontroller so you go to memories program then to disable the uh, reset fuse you go to fuses and you uncheck reset disable and then you click program and that should uh, display the words hello world in your ad tiny i mean in your lcd display that's it for this video thank you for watching